antioxidants are chemicals added to food such as fats the role of the antioxidants is to slow to slow down the rate at which food is oxidized for example when fats become oxidized they turn an, uh, rancid antioxidants do not increase the activation energy of the reactions instead they react with one of the chemicals produced during the oxidation processes process and therefore interrupt the re reaction taking place knowing how chemical reactions proceed and at which rate is important in other areas of industrial industry as well and for this reason you will practice using the rate equations and balanced equations to suggest possible mechanisms for a series of reactions before moving on to working out at which rate drugs and poisons are eliminated from the body. So let's look at some questions. Question one, suggest a three steps mechanism for the following reaction. Question one, and then we need to identify the slow step. Well, the first, the slow step, which is, which is now the first step actually, so slow step. We know that the rate equation tells us what's involved in the slow step. And so we to use one more of N2 of five. And that will, we know what it's forming because it tells us that it's forming that and NO2 plus oxygen in the end. So we know NO2 is forming. So if I take NO2 out of that, I'm going to get NO2. As you can see, what's left is actually plus NO3. Because they told us we need NO2, so I've taken NO2 out of that. I'm, on, I'm not using 2 because the, the degree of polynomial is 1. So it's, it's a first order. So that's why I'm only using 1. If it's what's a second order, I'll be using 2 here. Okay. And... How do I know what to write here? Well, because I knew I'm going to get NO2. So that's my NO2. And therefore, what's left is after taking it, take away that from there, NO2, NO2 from here, you're going to get NO3. That's NO3. So, but I know that NO3 is not in the final result. So I then need to work on these two to then carry on to go on to the next step. So that's the NO2 plus NO3. Well, I still need NO2, so I'm going to end up with NO2 plus, well, I also need oxygen because it tells me so. So plus O2. Now that I've taken O2 out of that guy here. So what do I la have left? I have plus NO. So now this is a reaction, but I've only got these now. And and uh, the O2. I need one more. I need three more of NO2. I've only got one. Okay, because I've used up that to make this. So, so the next step would be, I've got one more of these because in this reaction, I've got two. So the N2O5, which is one, one more left. That in itself should be reacting with that because I don't need NO. So plus NO. As you can see, and I'm expecting that to give me just three 
and O2. Because if it doesn't, then I'm in trouble. <laughs> so if I balance all these, if I should balance it up like that, so if I draw a line there, or draw a simple line, or I can actually use the whole thing to balance up. NO2 cancel NO2, NO3 cancels NO3. Good. So what do we have left? We've got N2O5, and I've got N2O5. I've got NO here, and I've got NO here, so that NO we cancel NO. And so what do I have all together? I've got N2O5, N2O5, which is 2 N2. O5 and that's going to NO2 3 NO2 so that'll be 4 NO2 plus O2 so that fulfilled the three steps that we're talking about it is actually clever to see how this is going to happen it does take practice uh, to get used to it but you have to follow the instruction that is given to you. And the clear instruction is to start with one of that. Because it doesn't have two power, it's got one power. So we start with one more. And we know we need 4NO2 and O2. So we take NO2 out. What's left is that NO3. So now we're going to use both of them to then form. Well, the NO2 will still be there. Now, was what we're now splitting is NO3. So we take O2 out and we have NO left. But we need to get rid of the NO. But we've got one more of this left. So we take N2O5 and we're reactive with NO to then give us 3NO2. And that fulfilled the instructions that we need to follow. Question number two. We need to suggest a four steps mechanism for the same reaction. However, the rate equation is now R equals K N2O5 squared to power two. Identify the slow steps. Well, the slow step is that. So why don't we follow the instruction? Again, we know that the slow step Is going to be well n2 o5 but two of them because this two is telling me so and that will go to well I know I need to get n o2 plus o2 the same thing we've done here I just need to multiply that by two multiply multiply that by two multiply that by two so I'm going to get two and O2 plus 2 and O3. So all I did was because it's 1 here, 1 there, 1 there. If I multiply that by 2, multiply that by 2, multiply that by 2, get that. Now, that's my slow step. Why is it my slow step? Because that is involved in a rate equation. So that's a slow step. Then the next part is the we now need to we don't want two and or three as you know why don't we take that process that we got before in the beginning and just repeat that process so we take one of those one of those which is n o2 plus n o3 because that's what would happen to then form an O2 plus O2 plus an O. We don't we've got another spare one of these left because there's two of them. So what we could do is take that spare one that we've got left and write an O2 plus an O3 to then form well, that will form 2 and O2 because I need that, right? When I form 2 and O2, I'm going to get a half O2. 
but I don't need NO. So because I don't need NO, I'm going to take these ones here, which is that this one. I'm going to use them here again. NO2 plus NO plus O2. I'm going to form another two NO2 because I need two of these and another two. So I need two NO2 plus what's left. Or if I have two N2 here as N2 and I have four oxygens or, or four, I've only got one left, one oxygen. So I'm going to get a half O2. So those are my four step one two three four and that's the first one it's a slow step question number three with question number three the integrated rate law gives the concentration of a reactant at any time after the reaction has started the poison is eliminated from the body in the first order reaction. The half-life of the reaction is three days. If the poison is ingested by accident, what percentage will remain in the body after 15 days? And these are clues here as to what to do. Uh, we know that the rate constant K is ln 2 over t to power subscript a half. Ln 2 is basically 0 0.963. We could find that to see whether that's true. So if I start that and if I push in ln 2 close bracket press equal to you can see it's 0 0.963 nine six three which is what you're given so that's long two right and so what we could do now is to find the value of k and that could be long two over three days so we're going to find the value in days and the value of k will be so we're going to take that back here Clear the screen again now. Fraction key um, long two close bracket arrow key down three. So that'll be zero point two three one. So we get zero point two three one. That's the value of k. Now we know the value of k. We can use the value of k to find so they've we've been given more clues here okay so you have to know how to calculate percentages remember the total initial concentration and that means the total uh, amount is that and that was actually 100 percent and that's the initial concentration initial poison concentration yes that's initial poison concentration and that's 100 percent when it was first ingested after a time t the amount of poison will now be reduced by some value by some value so this is what i'll call concentration poison concentration poison concentration at time t so that's if it's going to be less than the original value the ratio of the two because that's how we find uh, percentage percentage is going to be the percentage at time t the concentration over the original value that ratio and you times it by 100 that will be the percentage yeah, that's how we work percentage out. So, but we know what that is. That over that is actually 
e to the power minus kt and then we and then we times it by 100 so that's what we need to find we need to find we know what k is we know what t is and e to by e to power minus kt times 100 which means we can say right e to power minus what is k is zero well it's not putting 0 0.23 i want to make it that i actually write minus ln 2 over 3 to actually get all the exact value so that's what k is or you can put that in as k it's ln 2 over 3 times t and t is basically 15 and then whatever I get I need times it by 100 so let's see how we're going to get that value so I'm going to do that so I need the E and to put E in there you can see there I need shift key and press the LON that gives the E but I need a minus here and I need to press fraction key like that so I use that minus and I press fraction key because I'm going to put ln 2 here so ln 2 close bracket bring the arrow key down and I'll put 3 there so I can get the full value the full value or you can just put the values there you don't have to do it this way and then I need to move my cursor key here right I need to times that by 15 which is what what I've got here times it by 15 and then I want to bring my cursor key so I need to move my cursor key again there and then times that by 100 so the answer is uh, well 25 over 8 standard to decimal is 3 point uh, 3.125 percent or you might say 3.1 percent so the answer will be in this situation will be 3.1 percent so that's what the percentage that will be left so you could you have to be careful how you put that in you could use that value here this value you can use that here or you can just do it to get a full value so you can get your accuracy correctly because if you knock off some values here that will reduce the accuracy accuracy there so that's how we find that and question four the half-life of the ingested chemical A is 50 days. After how many days is the percentage of the chemical A down to 5%? Assume that the elimination of this chemical is a first order reaction. So again, I've got chemical A, so I can do the concentration of chemical A like that at the time t and if we divide it by the original concentration of chemical a you remember it's a percentage now because percentage original is going to be 100 percent and that's a proportion which is less than 100 percent over time because that poison is now decreasing in the body um, it takes 50 days for half-life that means 50 days to get to half of its original value um, and that proportion it says here it says after how many days is the percentage of the chemical down by 5% so we want that to be 5% which means it's going to be 0 0.05 because 5% means 
uh, 5 over 100, 100 and that is 0 0.05 that's what 5 percent means so now we know that ratio is 0 0.05 and that 0 0.05 it's now equal to you can see e to power minus kt so we've got 0 0.05 and that equals e to power minus kt to be honest in order to get rid of the e i need to take ln on that side and ln on this side and that's how i can get rid of the e i have to take ln on that side ln on this side and when i do that it would then become ln 0 0.05 equals well i need to take the minus kt to the front of the ln so that would be minus kt ln e but we know that ln e is 1 so ln e equals 1 you can try it by putting it into your calculator and see what you get let's put it here so we can see ln 1 ln e sorry uh, so to get e I need to do alpha e close bracket I'm expecting 1 so that's 1 so ln e is 1 this is 1 that would be 1 times minus kt right so we will get ln 0 0.05 equals minus kt times 1 so what do I need to do now well we're trying to find time right the question says how many days that means we're trying to find t time but we know what k is k is basically 50 days for half-life which means we can find k so to find k k is basically ln 2 over t half-life which is ln 2 over 50 ln well fraction key will be better isn't it fraction key ln 2 close bracket arrow key down 50 all right so k is equal to 0 0.0139 so round it up 6 to 9 now I know the value of k I can put it here and I can find the value of t so if I rearrange that I need to divide both sides by minus k in order to get the t so if I divide that by minus k we would get minus ln 0 0.05 divided by k and that equals t or just multiply both sides by minus that will get rid of that minus and you get minus here if you multiply that by minus one times that minus one that will become plus and that will become minus and if you divide it by k on both sides divided by k that k will cancel out divided by k you're going to get that so t will be that but we know what k is so we can now say t equals minus ln 0 0.05 over 0 0.0139 so therefore t will be equal to let's try that we have minus fraction key first then minus and here you want ln 0 0.05 close bracket arrow key down 0 0.0139 enter so you can see what t will be t will be 2 one it will be 215.5 that'll be 216 
days. So that will be the answer we're looking for for question four. So that's question four. So it's a very, very good question. And we need to be able to work in that situation and, and think through what we're doing carefully.